Today we are going to study lesson number 6 in unit 1. The square root of rational number. We will ask ourselves, is 25 a perfect square or no? 25 equals 5 times 5. We can see that we can find 25 as a multiplication of two same numbers. So, we can say that 25 is a perfect square number. Examples. We have also 36 equals 6 times 6 and 49 equals 7 times 7. So, if we have a number, this number is a multiplication of two same numbers. We can say that this number is a perfect square number. Each perfect square number has a square root. The square root is symbolized by this sign. Example, we need to find the square root of 25. But we have said that 25 equals 5 times 5. So we have two fives and from each two we will take only one five as a result of the square root. And also we have the square root of 36 equals 6 as 36 equals 6 times 6. Note that. Number 1. The square root of 0 equals 0. Number 2. The square root of negative number and the negative number must be under the square root is meaningless in rational numbers. Number 3. The square root of a power 2 equals as the absolute value of a, which equals a. Number 4. The square root of y power 6. From the meaning of the square root, from each two same numbers, we take 1 as the result of square root. So, y power 6 equals y times y times y times y times y times y. So, we have y 6 times. And from each two y, I will take only 1. So, we will have the square root of y power 6 equals y power 3. From the result, we can say that square root of x power m equal x power m divided 2. As in the previous example, square root of y power 6 equals y power 3 as 6 divided 2 equals 3. Find each of the following in the simplest form. Number 1. We have the square root of 49. We know that 49 equals 7 times 7. So, the square root of 49, it will be 7. Number 2. We have negative square root of 16 over 25. And our negative here is outside the square root so we will find the square root of 16 and the square root of 25 and our negative will still with us so the final answer will be negative 4 over 5 number 3 we have positive or negative square root of 2 and 1 over 4 2 and 1 over 4 is a mixed number so we will convert our mixed number into improper fraction. So it will be positive or negative square root of 9 over 4. And we need to find the square root of 9 over 4. We will find the square root of 9. Then we will find the square root of 4. So our final answer will be positive or negative 3 over 2. Number 4. We have the square root of negative 2 over 7 all power of 2. We have the square root of a number in bracket all power of 2. So it will give us the absolute value of this number, which is the absolute value of negative 2 over 7, which will be 2.5.
2 over 7 as the final answer. Number 5. We have the square root of 16 plus 9. We will find the sum of 16 plus 9 firstly, which is 25. So, our question is the square root of 25, which is 5. Number 6. We have the square root of 36 a power of 8 over 49 d power of 4. We will find the square root of 36 and the square root of 49. Then we will find the square root of a power of 8 and the square root of d power of 4. To find the square root of a power of 8 and d power of 4, we know that to find the square root of a power of 8, it will be a power of 8 divided 2, which equals a power of 4, and d power of 4 divided 2, which equals d power of 2. So, our final, our final answer, it will be 6 a power of 4 over 7 d power of 2. Number 7. We have negative 2 over 7 times the square root of 49 over 4 times 2 over 7 all power of 2. We will find the square root of 49 over 4 and 2 over 7 all power of 2. So our question will be negative 2 over 7 times 7 over 2 times 4 over 49. Write this question on your calculator and find the multiplication of negative 2 over 7 times 7 over 2 times 4 over 49 in the simplest form. It will be negative 4 over 49. Now open your booklet page 6. The square root of perfect square rational number. Question number one. Find letter A, the square root of 64. We know that 64 equals 8 times 8. So the square root of 64 will be 8. Letter B, the square root of 900. But we have negative out of the square root. So it is an easy question. 900 equals 30 times 30. So our answer will be negative 30. Letter C. We have negative square root of 36 over 25. We will find the square root of 36 then the square root of 25 so our answer will be negative 6 over 5 in letter d we have positive or negative square root over 6 and 1 over 4 6 and 1 over 4 is a mixed number so we will convert our mixed number into improper fraction so it will be positive or negative square root of 25 over 4. We will find the square root of 25 firstly and the square root of 4 secondly. It will be positive or negative 5 over 2. In letter E, we have the square root of 0 0.64. To find the answer it will be 0 0.8 as letter a it was square root of 64 so it will be 8 and in letter e the square root of 0 0.64 it will be 0 0.8 letter f we have square root of 100 minus 64 we will find 
the subtraction of 100 minus 64 firstly it will be root 36 and our final answer will be 6 in letter G we have the square root of a number in bracket of power 2 so it will be the absolute value of this number so the absolute value of 5 it will be 5 in letter H we have two questions question number one the square root of 16 plus 9 16 plus 9 equals 25 so we will find the square root of 16 plus 9 which is 25 the answer will be 5 he told me that 5 equals 4 plus what we said that the square root of 16 plus 9 equals 5 so 4 plus 1 will be 5